so last night <laughs> it got to about 4 4 p.m wasn't it when yeah a little bit after 4 yeah and it was raining so we decided not to do the aqueduct Chirk aqueduct and Chirk tunnel yesterday and so we decided we'd stop and today was supposed to be just cloudy not rainy so hopefully it stays <laughs> that way <coughs> and we're going to do Chirk aqueduct Chirk tunnel and the Ponticelli yes. however you say it aqueduct and then hopefully the plan is to get pretty much all the way to the end of Carnoughlin because it is only from here about 10 miles so it's not really that far considering we've been doing like 12 mile days <laughs> so that's the plan That's a bit unsettling. <laughs> bit small for a hobbit house it might be a noom's house <laughs> we're just around the corner from Chirk aqueduct now which then leads on to Chirk tunnel I'm excited I like the aqueducts mm. they're good fun good views that's a lot of ducks and pots We're on the Czech Aqueduct. So cool. So amazing. Train!
are now on the other side of Cherk Aqueduct and according to the sign we are now in Wales. Uh, we're just going to go through the Cherk Tunnel. There was a boat ahead of us so they've just gone in which means we'll just follow them and go through the tunnel. We've just stopped and got some fuel um, at Chirk Marina and now we are going to go through the next little tunnel. What's it called? White House Tunnel. White House Tunnel. Uh, but there's a boat coming through the other way so just hanging back and waiting for them to come through first this time. just came through that little tunnel and then suddenly we're in bright sunshine. It's like we're in a whole new country. <laughs> We're coming up to the Ponte Silti, however you say it. <laughs> I still don't know how to say that. The comments are going to be full of correct pronunciations. Correct pronunciations, yep. Oh, I can see it.
So we're on the stream in the sky, otherwise known as the Ponte something aqueduct. Correct me in the comments. <laughs> Whew, we're high up. Yeah, there's like a sheer drop to my left. Yeah. I don't like it. Don't fall off. <laughs> We go we've successfully crossed the Ponticilti and I didn't fall off and die <laughs> no and neither did Pixel because Pixel was put inside weren't you Pixel yep we weren't risking that no that gives me nightmares <laughs> so now we're heading there's like four miles from turning onto this little branch to the very end of the Clanoflan so that's where we're going to stop for tonight but how beautiful has this afternoon turned out to be? Yeah. Like, we got so lucky crossing today. Especially with the weather leading up too. Yeah, we had like such rainy, cloudy, miserable days. Perfect. Yep. Just for us. <laughs> usually have much of a current but you definitely feel it on the clan often because it's fed by a river river d i think but going at tick over it's like you're barely moving so so much of a flow against you I've got to say, the Clanoflin, Clanoflin is absolutely gorgeous, especially with the sun out, yeah. that helps. <laughs> it's just so beautiful because you're so high up and you're just looking out over everything and with the leaves starting to change as well you get these little hints of gold and orange, so pretty. I am really enjoying my afternoon. <laughs> This is what boat life is about. <laughs> it's a nice unexpected detour from the original plan. Yeah, didn't plan to do this this year, but... Well, we did originally, at the very beginning, <laughs> we planned we might do it this year. Then it changed when we were going with your parents, and now it's changed back. Yeah, so <laughs> it came back to full circle, really. We were destined to do it. <laughs> This part of the Clanoflin is really narrow. So Ryan's gone ahead with the radio, the walkie-talkie, and is letting me know if any boats are coming. So there was one boat just coming through, so I pulled over into the little 
waiting spot and I just waited for them to go past so now I can continue on. It is such slow going along this narrow bit. So slow. It's so shallow, and it's so narrow, and you're fighting the current. I'm crawling along. There's a boat waiting on the other side to come through. I'm trying my best to hurry. So we've made it to the Llanoflan Basin and uh, we're going to moor here for tonight and probably tomorrow night as well, stay here a couple of days so we can go and explore the town tomorrow and we'll go for a walk up to Horseshoe Falls. We're thinking we might go up to Horseshoe Falls in the evening because I think there's some sort of light show going on mm. and they're lighting up Horseshoe Falls so that'd be quite fun to go and see. <laughs> so at least we, we were on got good timing for that but not for the food festival that's on next weekend, <laughs> next weekend. we don't have time to wait we, we would normally like oh let's wait four or five days but we don't we don't have time we don't have time we have to get off the kind of because they're going to close it so yeah and um, but it's beautiful yeah it's been such a nice it's afternoon it's been gorgeous there's just some clouds coming over now so i think that's that's it for our that's nice it for sunshine, our nice sunshine. <laughs> But it was it was nice that it decided to become sunny for us to go over the Pontisilli, wasn't it, Pixel? Yep. Do <laughs> I get a kiss this Pixel? <laughs> Thank you. You're gorgeous. Yes, you are. But that is it for this one. And uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and give lots of kisses to the pixel <laughs> <laughs> she's quite tired she's had quite a she's few had walks. a lot of walks today aren't you <laughs> God, you're so adorable so tired she's like take me inside get the fire going all right we'll see you next time bye, bye. say goodbye pixel <laughs> Yeah, I could be into here if we had the option to.